Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Secretary, who does it feel like we're at war with? Uh, uh, ISIL uh, and its accompanying, uh, and by the way, I wasn't speaking of myself, and, and, and I don't use this word lightly. I'm talking to the troops who are involved in it, uh, Congressman, so I think that's who feels uh, that they're, they're at war. No, I, I understand, but who, who's the enemy? Uh, the enemy, enemy is ISIL and associated groups, extremists. Have, have you ever heard any member of Congress say we're at war with Muslims? No. Why would the president on foreign soil last week say that, quote, GOP's rhetoric has become the most potent recruitment tool for the militant group? Why would he say that? Uh, I, I can't say, I, I'm not familiar with that quote uh, by the president. What I do know the president has said in the past, which is uh, uh, obviously true, is that we uh, recognize that uh, this is not uh, Islam uh, per se that stands behind the Islamic State. It is uh, a particular group of very radical extremists. Uh, and that's an important distinction to make. I've, I, I, I don't know. I've, I've always heard the president make that distinction. I've thank you, thank you, Mr. Secretary. I don't even think he uses the word radical extremists. But I think it's pretty disingenuous uh, when he makes this into a political uh, football uh, using language on foreign soil uh, that has never been said for political purposes. Uh, this committee tries not to do that, and I think the president uh, should do the exactly same thing. He also